Hi, this is Susanna Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 36, day five. It is Friday. Anyway, and we are on um, week 36 of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive Peaceful Growth Calendar, that you can get on um, at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. If you love positive affirmations or you love um, music therapy, if you love essential oils and aromatherapy, I think you're really going to love um, this book. I know. I so love and appreciate this book. All of that said, the affirmation for this entire week that we have been um, intentional about is I love me more and more each day. And I hope um, maybe that as you've been waking up, <coughs> excuse me, as you've been waking up in the morning that you've been thinking about some wonderful things about you. Maybe when you look in the mirror or you pass a mirror, you just think something wonderful about you. Like, let's be our best friends, right? Your best friends, they, they say wonderful things about you. They lift you up. I think that's how we're supposed to be one to another. And we're supposed to love um, other people the same way we love ourselves. So I really do think that's the same way we should be, the same things we should be doing to ourselves too. We should be lifting ourselves up. We should be praising and complimenting ourselves. Um, as you're going to bed, I hope that, you know, after your prayers at night, that you say like three things or you just think, where were three of my successes? Don't, don't, you know, there's, there's definitely, um, there's time to do both at night. There is time to, um, there's time to look over your day and definitely repent of the things that we have done wrong. And maybe before you go to bed, you know, try to make amends um, of some of those things that we've done wrong or all of them or make a game plan on how am I going to repent, say sorry, make amends, right? Um, but let's, let's also spend some time and maybe the very end part of the time of saying, yes, I did make some, some mistakes and I definitely need to repent over those, but I also had some successes. And so let's go to bed at night thinking about successes. Um, I know one protocol that I really, really love is um, some people love to use balance oil for a, just a new break between days where they, um, at the end of each day, they put balance oil on their, on their feet just to kind of like let that day go. That day we did the best that we could that day. We're now just going to let it go and tomorrow we're going to be new creatures and we are going to have a completely new day. And so they put balance oil on their feet at night. They put balance oil on their feet in the morning just to make a clean break of the day. And that doesn't really have to do with the essential oils that we are talking about, but um, just loving, each other, loving ourselves more and more each day, it does help if we, if we don't carry the baggage from one day to the next. Okay, the affirmation for today is, I am good at my lessons and gentle on evaluation. Okay, so as I was reading the scriptures today, I just read over and over again um, with different scriptures that I was just running into um, on, on how merciful God is. And so I really do think that um, one of the ways that God is merciful is that he's gentle on his evaluation. And so if we want to be more like God, we should be more gentle um, on our evaluation of others and more gentle on our evaluation of ourselves too. And um, just giving, each, giving ourselves and others grace, right? I'm seeing ourselves and others with, um, through what, what do you think the best intention of, um, their heart could be? You know, I know they said that, or I know that they did that, but really what do I think their intention was? We love to be judged by our intentions, right? And, um, so we should try to judge other people by their intentions as well 
and we want to be judged by our intentions. So if something that we try to do doesn't 100% um, doesn't a hundred percent work out the way we want, maybe it's not received the way we want, we can still um, praise ourselves for our good heart, for our good intentions. Okay, so I'm just gonna read the affirmation one more time for today. I am humble about my good feelings and, uh, whoops, that's yesterday's. I am good at my lessons and gentle on my evaluation. Okay, so we've talked about being gentle on our evaluation. Here is what I wanted to say about being good at our lessons. I think that if we want to be good at our lessons as, you know, after we graduate school, right, um, we have to, or outside of, you know, straight academic school, we have to see life as happening for us. Life is happening for us to help refine us, to help make us better people, more loving, more compassionate people. And so as we're going through things in life, when um, we can follow the scripture and thank God for everything. And I know sometimes it's hard to thank him for um, the different trials in life, but we can. Holy Father, thank you for giving me this trial. What can I, what am I supposed to learn from it? Can you please help um, inspire my mind of what I'm supposed to learn with this lesson here. And here is my, here is my um, thought, and I don't know that it's 100% right, but it is a little bit of a thought. And that is sometimes we keep getting the same things happening to us over and over again, because we haven't learned a lesson yet. And so once we get learn our lesson on that, then we can, we get new experiences. Anyway, so um, one way that we can be good at our lessons is just seeing life happening for us, asking God, what am I supposed to learn here? Thinking, what should I, what can I learn here? How can I make this experience um, help me be better, right? Asking ourselves each time we come with up to a new experience, how can I make this experience help me be a better person? Okay. So that's my thoughts on today's affirmation. The song for the entire week is one of my favorite songs and um, it's, it's by Stevie Wonder and it's I Just Called to Say I Love You. I remember when I was a teenager in high school and this song would come on and you just couldn't help but kind of sing along with it and, and feel good feel good that even though the person who was singing to you didn't even know you at all, like you just felt good that, that someone, it just made you feel like someone loved you. And so listen to the song, listen to the song, put it on your playlist. Um, and in those times when you need to feel loved, feel le um, play it, put it on, feel loved. Or two, in those times when um, you want someone else to feel loved, don't, don't wait for the holidays. Just call and say how much you love them. Believe me, it's going to make their day. They're going to, it's going to uplift their day. You can never get too many people saying that they love you. You can't, like none of us can get that too many people saying that we, they love us and they think that we're wonderful. And so let's just make sure we're reaching out to other people, letting them know how much we love them, how much we appreciate them being part of our lives and how wonderful that we do think they are. Okay, um, it is Friday, like I mentioned, the diffuser blend that we've been diffusing the whole entire week is two drops of cypress, which is the oil of motion and flow. To, I, I'm just laughing because my son who's doing this taping can fall asleep so, okay, he's not, he's not asleep because he just opened his eyes, but I swear he can fall asleep so fast. Anyway, um, so two drops of cypress, which is the oil of motion and flow, two drops of geranium, which is the oil of love and trust, two drops of Ylang Ylang, which is the oil of um, innocence, the oil of the inner child. And um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we talked about the emotional properties of each of those oils. Today, we are gonna dive into some of the top physical properties of the oils. We are definitely not gonna dive into every single way you can use them because, you know, um, when God makes a plant, he doesn't just make it to be used in one way. He makes it to be used like in like a dozen, hundreds, probably thousands of different ways. So we are just just going to be 
talking about some of the top ways to use each of the oils. So the first oil we're covering is Cypress Essential Oil, the oil of motion and flow. It is from a conifer tree um, distilled from its leaves and branches. It grows up to 150 feet tall, um, but they usually live for 600 years, and some actually live, have been known to live up to a thousand years. It is symbolical of, symbolic, it is symbolic of life and, um, and the afterlife, which is why in many cultures it is, um, is planted in so many, um, churchyards and, and graveyards, cemeteries, I think that's a more modern word, cemeteries around the world. Just let the, us all know that this life is not the only life. Life goes on forever. And I totally believe that. And um, so here are some of the physical properties. The Chinese value Cypress for its benefits to the liver and the respiratory system. The French valued it for its respiratory decongestant support, which I like, oh, so we have Chinese and French, both saying this is super good. Cypress is super good for your respiratory system. It is great because it's the oil of motion and flow. It is great for any stagnation or congestion in the body. Um, so if you have poor circulation or coughs or congestion, um, maybe whether it's the respiratory system, maybe whether that congestion is in the gallbladder or litter, it can help clear that out. It can help clear out the congestion and maybe it clears out the um, phlegm. If you want to um, use Cypress for respiratory support, you can definitely pop that in your diffuser. You can um, put it a couple drops into a quarter cup of Epsom salts, put that in your bath and just take a beautiful warming bath with that. You can put it in, you can put a couple of chops of cypress into like a tablespoon of coconut oil or olive oil and rub that on your chest area. Or if the, can, um, if the like if, if you were congested, if you were using it for poor circulation, I would do basically just like maybe five drops of cypress into a tablespoon of coconut oil or um, olive oil, whatever you have at home. And then just rub that into your feet, into your ankles, your thighs, just kind of working up your foot. I mean, working up your leg. Cypress has, um, is known for its antibacterial activity. It can help in the healing of wounds and infections. People love to add Cypress to their skincare um, to help create a clearer complexion. It is very toning to our skin and Cypress helps Remember how it's the oil of motion and flow? It helps our body clean out and clear out the toxins. Cypress is one of the best oils for muscle um, cramps or even menstrual cramps. So if you're having some pain that, that way, again, I would just put like five drop cypress oil into a tablespoon of coconut or olive oil and just rub that wherever you're feeling the discomfort. Cypress is very good to help to support healthy vein health, health. and um, super good too for people who have restless leg syndrome. Um, again, putting a few drops into a tablespoon of coconut oil, massaging that to your from your feet to your ankles to your thighs. It's great to put on your legs when you're going on a long road trips. Um, just to just to keep the circulation moving because you're sitting for so long. You can definitely even do that when um, if you're going on an airplane trip too. It's very supportive of bladder and respiratory health. And I've heard that a really good tip for Cyprus um, is that it can be used for people who tend to wet, like I'm gonna say people, but you know, mostly children who might tend to wet the bed or it's also very good to put on, for anyone to put on, if they're going on a long road trip and they just don't wanna take a lot of bathroom breaks. And again, I would you know, put you know, maybe one drop into a teaspoon of um, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever, and then rub that on. So, Cypress, the oil of motion and flow. 
Most essential oils bring things in to balance. So when you say it's the oil of motion and flow, it's gonna bring things into a healthy balance on that. And so if you have too much movement or too little movement, it can help balance that out. So um, it's great if you have too much or too little menstrual, menstrual flow, or if you have diarrhea, it can help with that. A lot of people love to use it as a natural deodorant because it has a clean, spicy, kind of kind of woodsy, most people think of it more as a masculine smell. So you can put a couple drops um, into like a tablespoon coconut oil, put it underneath your arms, or you can even just put a drop or two into your feet, not into your, in, not into your feet, onto your shoes or into your shoes to help kind of deodorize your shoes. If you want to spray your jackets, you can put that, um, you know, a couple drops into like a little spray bottle, spray your jackets, um, just so they stay smelling really, really good. Some people love to add a couple of drops to their shampoo or their conditioner um, to help strengthen their hair follicles. My favorite thing to add to um, shampoo is rosemary. It is so nourishing to your hair. So because it can help balance um, flow, it can also um, you can also use it like if you've gotten a nosebleed, you can just put like turn the bottle over and just put like a drop right there or even just smell the bottle and see if that doesn't help calm and um, help your nose stop bleeding earlier or quicker. Um, two other oils that I love to use for um, stopping, stopping bleeding is a geranium. That's usually my first go-to when I have like a nosebleed, but I'm going to try cypress. Well, I don't usually get nosebleeds, but if any of my children do, we'll try cypress just to see how it works. And, um, but my, my top favorite that I keep in all my first aid kits is, is helichrysum. Like that's the powerhouse of oils when you want, powerhouse essential oil when you want to stop bleeding. Oh, hey, and, um, cypress is not to be used internally um, it's best to use when you dilute it with a carrier oil or be, um, before using it topically okay so that is cypress essential oil hold on really quick so some people um, if you're loving if you love so if you've stopped using like the regular fabric softeners and if you haven't stopped using like those dryer sheets yet, go ahead, do your due diligence on them and dry your sheets. Um, a lot of them take out like the flame retardant on your clothes, so you don't want to do that. Um, and plus they're just so full of synthetic chemicals, which can really mess with hormones. And I know that most people think that hormones are just for women or for females, girls, whatever, but you know, guys have hormones too. And so you just don't want to be messing with hormones. You, if you want something to scent your clothes, um, what I would suggest is getting one of those wool dryer balls and then just putting, um, just putting some essential oils. And cypress is definitely a beautiful blend. Some people love to put um, a drop of cypress, a drop of Siberian fir, and a drop of wintergreen. Oh my goodness, it's going to smell like you're walking through the forest. So... Hi, okay, we're gonna have to shoot this in a part one and part two. If you go, if you wanna see the whole thing in one thing, you're gonna have to go to our YouTube channel, which is Living the Wholesome Life Old, and then look for this later on today where you can just see it all at one time. Okay, so um, we're gonna start talking with geranium because I think that's where somehow the, the taping stopped. So, geranium essential oil. It was used by the ancient Egyptians for promoting beautiful and radiant skin. Um, it has a beautiful smell that's very, very rose-like. And it has very similar qualities. I almost call it like the little sister of rose. So if you can't afford rose yet, um, get geranium. It's, it's a beautiful little sister. It's not as powerful. So I would definitely get rose as soon as you can afford it. But until then, geranium is a beautiful little sister of rose. And um, as I'm talking about geranium, or as I'm talking about kind of expensive oils, you definitely get what you pay for. I love doTERRA essential oils. They are certified pure therapeutic grade. 
They third party test every single batch of oils. You can go to the bottom of your bottle, go to a place it, where the batch number is printed. You can go to a place called Source to You and type it in. Caleb, would you give me the geranium and the Ylang Ylang oils, please? You can go into a the site Source to You, type in your your um, batch number, and um, it will show you every single test that's been done. And thank you and all of the results. So I do not know a company that is as transparent as doTERRA is. They are so committed to pursuing what is pure, to bringing you only what is absolutely pure. So geranium, the physical aspects of geranium, it's known as a woman's oil because it is so supportive to the menstrual system and even to menopause. It stimulates the adrenal cortex, which helps to balance the hormones. It is supportive to tissue and nerves. Um, if you want, if you're using geranium for that, you can put three drops of geranium into one tablespoon of, of carrier oil and whether it's um, coconut oil or um, olive oil, and then just rub that on wherever um, wh wherever you're working. It is very supportive to the liver and gallbladder. So, um, and it can help support them in discharging toxins. In um, so, just reminding us all that in Chinese medicine, the liver is where. Um, Chinese people or Chinese medicine believes that we store anger, rage is where they believe we store the gall, hold on, the gallbladder is where they believe we store rage. So it's good to get those emotions out and em those things, the gallbladder and the liver emptied out, not only of the toxins, but also of the negative emotions that they might store. Geranium is very neuroprotective, and so if you're using it as a neuroprotective oil, go ahead, put a few drops into a tablespoon of coconut oil, put it over your forehead, um, kind of around along your hairline. You can rub it on your ears just because you have your reflex, reflexology um, points in your to all your body systems, in your ears, in your hands, and in your feet. Um, so you can also, um, it's a beautifully, um, a beautifully calming oil. Flowers are known for their beautiful ability to calm. So for that, you can put um, a couple drops of geranium oil onto your hands, rub it around, you know, all over your hands, all over your palms, smell that. You're getting it in through your um, olfactory system, but you're also um, hitting all those reflexology points on your hands. So a super good way to be supported with that. Um, it is great for your respiratory tract. You can either diffuse that. If I was using it for respiratory support, um, I would put in, you know, a couple drops cypress, couple drops, um, a couple drops of um, geranium. I would probably even put in a, like a drop or two of eucalyptus or doTERRA has a beautiful um, blend called breathe and so that to me that would make a beautiful um, diffuser blend um, for respiratory tract support or you can even just put each of those you know a couple drops of each of those oils to a tablespoon of coconut oil and just rub that on your chest and let that help open um, open up that area geranium has anti-inflammatory properties geranium now Flower oils are known for helping to beautify the skin, whether that's lavender or rose. Geranium, too, is very known for its abilities to help beautify the complexion. So you can add a couple of drops into your moisturizer. It's great for helping to clear up skin, but it's especially like if you have acne that seems to come on at different times of the month, or if you, if you, um, Anyway, and it's very, very good for aging skin as well. If you have other skin issues that you're working on, you can definitely, um, you know, put a couple drops of geranium oil again into your tablespoon of of um, 
into your tablespoon of coconut oil or olive oil, whatever carrier oil you like, and then just rub it onto your skin and see if it doesn't help make a difference. Essential oils can be game changers in so many different ways. It is great for your hair and because essential oils tend to bring things into balance, it can benefit both dry or oily hair. I would just mix like a drop or two in with your conditioner um, each time you condition. It's a beautiful insect repellent and I, it can help bugs to stop bugging you. Um, some people actually plant geraniums into their gardens to help you know, keep the insects away. Geranium is good for, um, like I said, mentioned before, for stopping nosebleeds. I would just take my bottle of geranium essential oil, you know, tip it over, take the top off first, of course, tip it over, just put one drop by, right by my nose area, my, yeah, like underneath my nose. And I think you'll be very impressed with how it can help um, stop bleeding. Now again, I just have to say Healy Chrism is like the, the number one powerhouse um, for when you're trying to stop bleeding. Always keep that into your first aid kit. Geranium essential oil is great to use for sore muscles. So you can use that before, you know, put a few, couple drops again into your tablespoon of coconut oil, um, olive oil, whatever. Rub that into your muscles before your exercise. You can also rub it in after you exercise to stop with, so to help um, preempt kind of sore muscles or cramps. And it's also very, very good to use for, for um, menstrual cramps. So you, you can use that exact same blend um, kind of rubbing that onto your over your lower abdomen and your lower back to help with menstrual cramps. Doter, I'm sorry, geranium has antibacterial and antifungal anti properties. For that, you can mix a drop, uh, one drop, I'm sorry, a couple drops into one teaspoon of coconut oil and then just go ahead and apply that to cuts and wounds to help um, bring in some antibacterial properties. Women love to use um, geranium as a natural deodorant. We kind of mentioned how um, Cypress has more of a, um, a masculine felt smell, kind of a woodsy smell. Geranium has much more of a feminine smell. And so you can um, put um, a few drops into a teaspoon of coconut oil. Go ahead, coconut oil is great for, it has good antibacterial properties as well. Just go ahead and rub that underneath your arms. You can also spray the seam. Um, you can put a couple drops into a spray bottle. Spray, um, use it kind of as a perfume, or you can even put that um, that mixture and use it. I think I said this before, but use it as a perfume anyway. Caleb, we're good. We're just gonna keep going until we're done. Okay, and. Um, there are over 70 different studies on geranium essential oil that it's on aromatic science, which is one of my favorite places to look up um, studies from around the world. Um, it's called aromaticscience.com. You can look it up by um, essential oil. So if you have essential oil, you really don't know what it's used for, go ahead, get on aromaticscience.com and, and see just studies from all around the world on, on um, how science is showing that, isn't, that geranium oil or whatever oil you're looking at um, is, can be used effectively. And so the very last oil that we're gonna be talking about is Ylang Ylang oil, which is the oil of, of innocence and the inner child. So Ylang Ylang oil is, is um, known in the Philippines as the flower of flowers, and it has a beautiful, exotic um, scent. It is, it is very, very supportive for the cardiovascular system. As, it's a, as it is a flower oil, it's also very supportive of the exocrine system, so the skin and the hair. You can put a couple drops into your shampoo or your conditioner to help stimulate hair growth 
or to add a beautiful shine to your hair. A Lang Lang like geranium is also a beautiful essential oil that can help balance out emotions. And for this reason, it's great. People love to put it into blends um, for menstrual support or other hormone issues. Elang Elang, there is so much on the web on how Elang Elang is great for the libido, a beautiful, amazing smelling natural aphrodisiac. Elang Elang, again, since it's a flower oil, it can be very, very calming to so many of our different systems. So it's great for rapid breathing or heart palpitations. It's great for nervous tension or when you have mental exhaustion or even physical exhaustion. It's also very calming and very, very useful if you just can't sleep. If you can't get to sleep at night, I know that most people reach for lavender. Everyone's body um, works a little bit differently though. So you can definitely reach for your Lang Lang. Put a couple drops in the diffuser. See if that doesn't just help you relax and go to sleep. You can also put a couple drops onto your heart area or onto your feet. And the last thing that I wanted to say is that a Lang Lang is also very, very good um, for intestinal infections um, or even if you're constipated. So I love how, how each of the oils has their own little specialties and then some of the oils are so good for so many different things. Okay, so just wrapping up really quickly, the diffuser blend that we're diffusing is two drops of, of Cypress, the oil of motion and flow, two drops of geranium, the oil of love and trust, and two drops of ylang ylang, the oil of innocence, the oil of the inner child. The song for the entire week is I Just Call to Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder. And the affirmation for today is I am good at my lessons and gentle on evaluation. Let's be gentle with ourselves and with others. And the affirmation for the entire day is I love me more and more each day. I know that as we love ourselves, as we work on loving ourselves more, we are able to give ourselves more grace. We are able to give other people more grace. We are able to love on other people more too. So it's, it's honestly just a cycle. As we love on ourselves more, we can love on other people more too. Okay, I've already peeked ahead about at the affirmation for next week. I'm not gonna tell it to you today, but I know you're gonna love it. It's an amazing affirmation. So join us next week for the new affirmation for the week. And um, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters, living the wholesome life, reminding us all that we have the incredible power within us to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.